Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. And before we start this exercise, please subscribe on the channel and like this video. Now, let's go for our problem. The winch cable of a tow truck is subjected to a force of T is equal 6 kN when the cable is directed at theta is equal 60 degrees. Determine the magnitudes of total brake friction force F for the rear set of wheels B and the total normal forces at both front wheels A and both rear wheels B for equilibrium. The truck has a total mass of 4 megagrams and mass center at G. So now we're going to position our forces. So here I have a normal A. Here I have a normal B. And here I have the weight. Now we're going to find the components of our tension. So here I have T sine of theta and pointing down I have my T cosine of theta. Now I have uh, all elements to use my equations of equilibrium and find my unknown values. So now we're going to start doing the sum of forces in x axis is equal to zero because I just have my tension sine of theta and my friction force F. So I have T sine theta minus F is equal to zero. Our T is six, our theta is 60, and we have friction force. So my friction force is equal to 5.20 kilonewtons. So we found our friction force in the rear wheels B. Now we're going to use the sum of moments about one point and the point that I'm going to choose is point A because A I'm going to take the normal A that's unknown and then I'm going to take the friction force out of my equations. So I have the sum of moments in A is equal to zero. So I'm going to start with my weight. So I have minus two times the weight plus 4.5 times normal B minus T cosine of 60 times six plus T sine of 60 times 3, that's my distance, is equal to 0. So our weight is 4 times 10 to the third kilograms times 9.80. So our weight is equal to 39. 0.2 times 10 to the third newtons, so our weight is equal to 39.2 kilo newtons. So now we have 4.5 normal B is equal to 2 times 39.2 plus 6 times 6 times cosine of 60 minus 6 times 3 times sine of 60. So doing our math, we have the normal B is equal to 24.9 kilonewtons. So this is our second answer for our problem. Now, to finalize our exercise, I'm going to do the sum of forces in y direction is equal to zero. So here I have normal A that I don't know, normal B that I just found, our weight that's centered in G, and don't forget of our 
tension cosine of theta. So here I have normal A plus normal B minus weight minus T cosine of theta is equal zero. So my normal A is equal weight 39.2 plus 6 cosine of 60 minus 24.9. So our normal force in A is equal 17.3 kilonewtons. So here we found our friction force that's equal 5.20 kilonewtons. I have my normal B is equal 24.9 kilonewtons and my normal force in A is 17.3 kilonewtons. I hope you all understood our step-by-step. -step. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the channel. Thank you.